hello, I'm Daniel Ribeiro. I'm from Brazil and I won the Teddy Award uh, with the movie The Way He Looks in 2014. And, and I wish all the best for the Teddy Award. I wish many more years, 30, 60 or 90 years of uh, queer films and queer filmmakers uh, and I hope all the best. Daniel, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good too. Well, you won the Teddy Award in 2014 for the movie The Way He Looks. And yeah. what was the situation of queer people in 2014 in Brazil? I think there's like a mix. Uh, we have some like, advantages and there's still so much uh, more to, to achieve here. Uh, in 2014, uh, I think it was a little bit better uh, because at the end of 2014, we had uh, an election, and we elected a Congress that was very uh, that was very conservative. And this past year has been really hard for uh, for minorities, and even for women, for example. There's a lot. The Congress is trying to uh, to take back so much that women have already uh, achieved, and also the minorities are are our rights are in re uh, in jeopardy. So, but 2014, we had, uh, I mean, we were at this moment where we had a lot of things that were good. For example, we have same-sex marriage legalized here, uh, but there's still some, there's a lot of uh, homophobia in society. So it's, I mean, uh, the laws are, are, are uh, a bit in our favor, but we're still, there's, a, there's still a lot of uh, cultural changes that we need to have in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And when you look back, what kind of impact did your movie have on that situation? I think it was really good because when, uh, when we won the Teddy, the film, which was a small independent film here in Brazil, it, we didn't have any uh, famous actors in it. Uh, when we won the Teddy, and, uh, we got a lot of press. So that helped the movie to be uh, recognized and, when, and we premiered in, in theaters about two months after the, the Berlin Film Festival. So it was really good because it was really fresh uh, in people's minds. So, uh, so when we, we premiered, it was really good. We had a, a good uh, box office for uh, a small independent movie. So it was really good. So the, the movie, uh, the, the Teddy helped uh, the movie to, to, be, to be known. And, and that was really good because it, it uh, I mean, people were talking about the gay issues in the film, uh, you know, in the papers or in, in TV. So it was really good to have the, that debate that the film brings into society. And I think that, that that's one of the, the good things about movies because they, they tend to change people's, uh, people's thoughts about things. You know, sometimes it's uh, when you have a debate and you're trying to explain certain things, it's harder than when you show a movie with the characters that are likable and that are, uh, you can identify uh, with them. Uh, it's it's easier for you to understand, you know, their pain, their troubles, their problems. So I think it was really good to have this movie, uh, uh, the Teddy Award, uh, helping the movie to to get to get known, to get people to watch it. Mm -hmm. And on your pers personal and artistic life, what kind of impact did it have there? It was really good because since the film was was. Uh, it did well here in Brazil, and also it played in so many other uh, film festivals, a lot of gay film festivals, LGBT festivals. It was it was really good because you know my my film was uh, watched by so many people, and definitely the Teddy Award was it, it had a big impact on that. Mm -hmm. because people because people are interested, you know, it's like oh the Teddy Award winner, so people want to watch that movie. So uh, so it was really good, and to get a lot of feedback from from so many people around the world and uh, especially w when you make a movie you never know if it's going to be uh, how it's going like you, ha you have a specific way that in your country you know how a lot of people are going to react to it but you never know how it's going to be around the world so it's really good uh, to get the film screened uh, everywhere and get this feedback from different cultures and people uh, relating to the characters it was really good. Mm. Did you have the feeling that the situation in Brazil changed after your movie came out and after it won the Teddy Award? 
I don't think it. I mean, not specifically, but I think uh, I think films with LGBT issues. I mean, in Brazil, that's one good thing. We I was saying that the Congress is really conservative, but we have a lot of uh, LGBT filmmakers, and we do a lot of LGBT films here in Brazil, which is it's curious to have that uh, in, in a society that it that it that is a bit conservative. Uh, we managed to make uh, a lot of movies with those issues. So in a way. Uh, I think, and my film, since it got a lot of publicity because of that, I think it helps to, you know, and to 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 bring the issues uh, into society, and also to uh, make a lot of people, uh, young kids who, you know, maybe want to become a filmmaker. You know, I think all of the all of these films that we're making and that are uh, that are uh, out there, and you know, it, it, I think it changes a little bit uh, in people. You know, I think it does. I mean, from the I get the feedback from a lot of young people, for example, uh, saying how the movie changed their lives. You know, it made them feel more uh, accepting, accepting of themselves, or how it made them talk to their parents about it. You know, the movie was a way to talk uh, to their parents about it. So those little changes, I, I, I realize that uh, the film has on, on people, but I don't know if in like society it's, it's a big change. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if, if I can say the movie had that, that impact. Well, small changes can, to, can lead to big changes. Yeah, that's what I believe in. So it's, it, it makes me happy to, that it got to the people and to, the, to these people that I really wanted to make the movie for. For young kids who, you know, sometimes feel, uh, don't feel comfortable with themselves. And, you know, the movie, I think it, it helped a few people to, you know, to, to feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, if we look back at 30 years Teddy Award, 30 years Queer Film Award, what do you wish for for the future of the Teddy Awards? I hope another 30 and 60 or 90 years. I mean, I think uh, I think uh, for queer uh, filmmakers and uh, you know the queer public, it's so important to have those movies. And I think and I think there's no going back. Uh, I think we're going to make more movies, and I think we're going to make more diverse movies. That's what's really interesting about nowadays. Uh, even when we have queer characters, uh, sometimes it's not about the queer issues, and that's what's really good also, because, you know, it makes us, uh, we get out of the ghettos, you know, the, the, our, our small, uh, the places that we sometimes hide. You know, it's good to be in society and be mixed with everyone else, and I think the movies are reflecting that. You know, reflecting the, 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 this, you know, it reflects society in a way. We're making more diverse movies with diverse characters. And I think that's, that's really good. And I think that's what the future is going to, to bring. All right. Thank you very much for the interview. And yeah. well, I wish you a good day. Yeah, you too. <laughs>